Cat Rex Demon? Let's get it! Ooh, what's up guys? MTG Jedi here, and we are talking Ak Akimtum? I don't know, I don't like this name of this champion, but I do like this champion. This amazing new Skinwalker epic is going to destroy the clan boss, and I'm so excited to share this with you. Uh, we have a brand new champion on the test server here. Thank you so much, Polarium. And I stole Draco's gear to make this happen. So let's come in here, and I don't know why my Draco's gloves are not ascended. Maybe that didn't come through on the test server, but we got attack. Okay, not as good, but that's quite all right. So, we have a pretty solid build here. 5,300 attack, 235 crit damage, in Relentless, with enough accuracy, not quite 100% crit rate, uh, but that's okay. I would say, you know, I could probably tweak this to make it a little bit better. Uh, but this is how, this is how I have the build set up for today. I do have him fully booked on the test server here, and we were able to get Giant Slayer on him, which I'm very excited about for Clan Boss, because in case you're not familiar with his A1 here, it is a triple hitter. Each one has a chance of placing a poison, and if it's under a hex, which he does place as well later on in his kit, he can do a debuff spread, which is not going to be helpful for the clan boss, but could be helpful for other content. Then he has another triple hitter on his A2, and that's where he's going to be placing the hex. Um, and then on his uh, on his passive, he has a 100% chance of books of inflicting damage from one poison debuff to enemies under hex, whenever their allies receive damage from poison debuffs. So I think this could be a very useful ability in other areas of the game as well. But for today, we're going to be working with the triple hitter, the triple hitter, the hex, and the poisons. So let's go put him in my clan boss team and test him out. Now, um, for me, this is just the test that I do on the majority of champions here. Um, and uh, I have the Bat Eater team ready to go. This is the team that I use. What is his speed aura? Hold the phone, Batman. Hold the phone. I honestly did not know he had an, an aura. So that's news to me. I was, I was not noticing that. Okay, where are you, my dude? Where are you, little kitty cat? Okay, let me... I probably scrolled past him a million times. Let me pause and find him. Okay, so here we go. And apparently we have a speed in all battles aura. So I'm going to need to change that. I, I can't have this order in here um, and, and still work out. So I think we just need to put the man-eater in that first slot and then put the cat in the second slot and i can never find the cat it's got to be like literally just right there all right well my visual impairments apparently <laughs> are are getting in there but that is quite all right so man eater one should uh auto to a one first and man eater two should open a one um we're, I mean, I don't think we need to do anything here. He'll just do his own things. Seeker's going to do his own things. Then we prioritize um, with uh, A3 and then A2 on our pain keeper. In case you're not familiar with this team, I do have the full breakdown on this team on my website. But 271, 224, 246, 254, 241. Try to put damage on all your champions if you want a one key. But this is still, in my opinion, the best clan boss team. Uh, I think it's the most consistent. I think it's the easiest to build. I still build it for people all the time on my on my channel. So if you need a clan boss takeover, please let me know. But so right there, we did. Am I? 
That looked like we did damage from the poisons. And we placed poison. But I didn't think that's how his kit was going to work. So immediately I'm noticing that his multipliers on his A1 are pretty low. Okay, we're only getting like 20,000 here. Or 10,000 from these hits. So I don't know if this is going to be a top tier uh, clan boss champion. Okay, it's possible that he just needs a, a different team setup. You know, sometimes when I test these new champions, um, they what I find is that they need to go into another team. And one of the things that we're missing with him is a decreased defense or a weaken to really be a solo damage dealer. You know, people like Fane and Draco, the reason why they're good is because they do those poisons um, and they do decrease defense and weaken. And so we are definitely missing that. But I still think that with this setup, he can be a clan boss damage dealer in an unkillable team. I think you would have a really hard time keeping him alive, not in a, you know, not in a an unkillable team. So... But as long as he's in an unkillable team, you can build him as squishy as you want. Right now, I think the damage is okay from him. Honestly, honestly, I am a little bit disappointed with his multipliers here. This is pretty low multipliers. But on the other hand, we do have the chance to proc Giant Slayer multiple times. Since we have those triple hitters on both abilities, every time he takes his turn, you know, we're going to have the ability to proc some Giant Slayers. Another thing to note here, if you want to use him in your clan boss team, we could put some other champions in Toxic. We're nowhere close to filling the debuff bar like I thought we would be. And so I think that this is... Um, uh, still a great place for him, but I think maybe he's going to be better suited for other content as what his best area of the game would be. You know, he's going to have that um, activating poison, so if you can make him survive, he might be good for Hydra. Um, another place that I think I would like to try him out in would be the Nether Spider, okay? And those things could be strengths for him as well so if you really need a poisoner for your clan boss team i think he can do the job like it i think we're definitely going to two key here but i don't think we're going to be able to obtain the one key with him in our team so that is something good to note i would put him as probably a tier two clan boss champion but I think still definitely viable and I'm pretty excited to see what damage we can come out with here. So let me go ahead and finish this run and then we'll see the full damage breakdown. I I'm thinking he's still going to be the highest damage dealer in the team, but I guess we'll see when we come to the damage screen. So let me go ahead and run this through and then I will see you guys back in a minute. All right, so hopping back in here in the middle of the run, we're on turn 31 and we're at over 33 million damage. So our damage is ramping up a little bit, but not as much as I would have liked. Still a very easy two key. And I would say that this team could easily two key even with less gear than what I have on my champions because we only need, right, 35, 36 million to two key, and we're, we should be over 50 million on this run. Another cool thing to note is that you'll see his hex debuff is going to be extended for the entire fight, and that's going to add extra damage on all of our champions, and that's a very cool part of his kit. So let's see the end of the run and the full damage on everybody. All right, we're nearing the end of the run here, and we just passed 50 million. Um, I think that this guy, even though his multipliers are really not great, 
He does an excellent job of placing poisons. In Relentless Gear, he can keep the debuff bar pretty full on his own. So if we had him in a team, um, I think that, you know, a team... See, we have those poisons all up there now. If we had him in a team that plays decreased defense, you know, maybe something like Myth Fu or a team where there's more than one DPS slot so that that way we could have a decreased defense and weaken champion, that could be a really powerful combo. And honestly, I'm impressed with the damage output here. This, he might be a tier two damage dealer, but if you pair him with the right team, man, this guy is powerful. So we're coming in on the end of the run here. We're going to end maybe 53 million. 54? Can we get to 54? No, 53.5. Okay, so let's take a look at the damage. He did all of the damage. 23 million damage on himself. And then obviously the man eaters over here did almost 8, 9, and almost 9 on the Seeker because I have them built pretty well for damage. Uh, but you can see Act. Uh, Akatum, I'm just going to call him the cat. Um, the cat did 23.5 million damage. So if we were able to fit in decreased defense in this into this build somewhere, um, then this would be a one key. I'm very confident of that. So I think that he is a really, really good clan boss champion. So let's head over to my website, mtgjedi.com, and take a look at some potential teams that he could fit really well in. So hopping on over here under the clan boss section, we have um, definitely some great options. I think the Hella Crusher is the most budget awesome team in the game right now. I have, do have a full video on that on the, on the channel here. And you can see in this Draco spot, we could easily put our new cat friend. And then maybe we could put somebody like a Fane or um, even a Rosin in the Geo spot for the decreased defense and weaken. I think that could be great. Uh, another team I think he would be really good in would be Myth Fu. Because in Myth Fu, you have Fu Shan who's placing decreased defense, and then the cat can do the heavy lifting with the poisons and the hex. So I think there's a lot of great options for him for clan boss. And I think that he would really serve you well if you're looking for an, a champion to help you in your clan boss team. So let's uh, bring up that build again for you. He's in relentless and offense. I know not the best, but that is the build that works for me in my clan boss team. And again, here were his total stats. We had 5,300 attack, 235 crit damage, and 226 accuracy as the most important things after we hit the speed requirements. So what do you think about this guy, Akatum, a.k.a. the cat? Let me know in the comments below. And if you made it all the way to the video, thanks so much. Consider subscribing to the channel for more daily Raid Shadow Legends videos. And I will see you guys in the next video.